Hey everyone, so if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I switched from working as an environmental engineer for the U.S. Air Force to now working as a water resource control engineer for the state of California's Water Quality Control Board. I started in the middle of July 2022, so it's only been like a few months since I started working there. I'm still learning my responsibilities and doing a lot of training, so I can't give you much update on what I do. But I can share with you today's topic, which is how much I make working for the state. It's going to surprise you because it honestly shocked me too. First, I'm gonna show you how much I used to make at my old job as an environmental engineer for the US Air Force. I'll pull up my old pay stub from the last paycheck and break that down. Then I'll pull up my first real paycheck from the new job and break that down and explain all the benefits that used to go in there. If you don't wanna stick around for the whole video, I'll just connect it now. My salary at the old job was roughly like $85,000 a year. My new current job as a water resource control engineer pays roughly 99,000, but there's so much more to that, like the benefits and retirement. All that combined is roughly about $156,000 a year. And I'll explain all that in much more detail as I go on later on in the video. Now, let me add a little disclaimer before I start the video. This is not a video to show off. I know it will sound very show offy, but there are other jobs that make like way more than this. You know, imagine if I was like working at Google as a software engineer. That's like a completely different story with like much higher numbers. I'm just here to show you my numbers and this is like true data that's coming out from like my personal pay stub. And all of this is out in the public because every state employee has to show their salary and even like the salary is set in the job description when they're applying beforehand. You can go to a website called transparentcalifornia.com and it'll show you basically every single person who's working for the state of California, their pay stub and like basically their well, not their pay stub, but like basically how much they get paid and the amount of benefits that they get. Looking at it right now, it breaks down how much they make for regular pay, which is like their gross income, and all the benefits such as like retirement, pension, and other health benefits that they that the state pays. So you can look that up for yourself. I'll send the link in the description below, and you can just type in some random person's name or just some random job position title that the government has, and then you'll see a list of people who used to work there at you know what year and how much they got paid for that year. Obviously, because I just started this year, you will not find me, but you know, maybe two or three years later from now, they'll update the website and you'll see my name on there. Okay, now with that all out of the way, let's go jump to my computer and I'll show you my paycheck from my last job and I'll break it down. Okay, so I'm on my computer right now. I chose the month of May because during June and July, that was when I was having some these odd numbers because they knew I was about to quit and everything so I cashed out some things. So overall my numbers would have looked different if I chose the last month of my employment. So that's why I chose May. So let's break this down. I got paid a bi-weekly meaning every 80 hours at my old job as an environmental engineer. I got paid an $85,000 salary which equivalents to about $41.03 per hour as you can see here. It sounds like a lot but you have to pay for federal tax and where I live state tax. 401k retirement if you decide to contribute to that and maybe any health insurances you decide to enroll in. Taking a look at what I have, I pay for the federal and state taxes and contribute 6% of my salary into my 401k because the company matches that. I did not enroll in any health insurance because I had someone else cover me for that. So overall, my take home pay after paying all my deductions was about 2,200 every two weeks. Okay, so we got the magic number, 2,200 every two weeks or about 4,400 every one month. All right, now let's open up the new jobs pay stub. I get paid monthly instead of bi-weekly, so every last day of the month, or I think first day of the new month, is that when I actually get paid. I get paid roughly 99,000, which translates to about $47.52 an hour. And I'll show you how I came up with that number. I take this number, $8,238 per month, times that by 12 months a year, which is about $98,856 a year. Take that number, divide that by 52 weeks a year, and that translates to $1,901 a week. Divide that by 40 hours a week, and I get $47.52 an hour. So that's great. It sounds like I'm finally hitting that six-figure salary. You know, the dream goal for like everyone. But I still do get deducted some things, like paying for federal and state tax. I'm forced to put money into retirement because it's basically like a state pension now, and not like a voluntary 401k. It's represented by this retirement and OPEB. These are mandatory contributions that the state makes you pay, so you really can't opt out for that. You have to pay your part. Also, I'm part of a union now, as noted by this around $70 deduction. So on this side of the corner, these are my deductions. Now I know what you're probably thinking. You're gonna say, wow, that sucks. You're getting deducted like nearly $2,500 per month. That's as much as your entire bi-weekly paycheck from the last job. And yes, although that is true, 
Now we can scroll down here and look at the employer contribution portion. So on this corner, it says that the state is literally paying me about $2,600 each month in my retirement. If I take the numbers, $2,600 divided by 8,200, that's about 32% of my gross salary. So I don't know if any match that is as big as like 30%, but that $2,600 is bigger than my bi-weekly paycheck in my old job too. So now I can see how and why state employees never really want to leave their job because the benefits of working there is just so like enticing. You always hear about it, you know, that working for the government is so stable and everything and that people don't really want to leave until they're old. This is the numbers. This is what they're looking at. And you don't really see the numbers and know the numbers until now that you've watched this video. So if I add all these employer contributions up, I get $4,778.92 per month that the state is paying me back in benefits or at least, you know, things that I don't have to pay for. In one full year, that is equivalent to an extra $57,300 in benefits. So that's how I got that nearly $156,000 I mentioned earlier at the start of this video. I know that most people look at the money that hits their bank account as how much they're making, but you know, you also have to think about the money that's flowing behind in the background and what you don't have to pay for. This retirement though is like seriously the biggest shock to me ever since transitioning to this job. I know my retirement's gonna be good if ever I stay here for the long term. But okay, yeah, that's it for the video. If ever you're interested in more topics like these or are confused about like paychecks, benefits, 401ks, and you know, stuff of that nature, just leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you when I can. I feel like I'm not showing my face as much on future videos, so I'll try to change that. Hopefully my job gets more exciting and hopefully I learn more on the job. That way I can actually post something about it and like, you know, show you my day-to-day -day life and this new job. Hopefully you like the transparency. You know, sorry this topic isn't as exciting because, you know, people don't really look at the paycheck and talk about stuff like this because it's, you know, pretty boring. But I also think that having this information is very crucial in determining whether this field can actually pay the bills. The answer is yes, it can. So don't let your friends or family tell you otherwise. Just show them this video and they'll probably change their minds. All right, that's all for the video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.